हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ डिजाइन आई वीर प्रकाश वेलकमिंग यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो सेशन दिस इज द कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ सॉल वर्क्स एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम बेसिक टू इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट लेवल वी वी लर्न ईच एंड एवरी मॉड्यूल ऑफ सॉल वर्क्स इन दिस कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल लाइक सॉल्यूवर्स पार्ट मॉडलिंग सॉल्यूवर्स असेंबली ड्राफ्टिंग सॉल्यूवर्स वेल मेड सॉल्यूवर्स सरफेस मॉडलिंग सॉल्यूवर्स एफी सिमुलेशन सॉल्यूवर्स फ्लो सिमुलेशन एंड हाउ टू प्रोवाइड मोशन इन आवर मॉडल सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ सॉल्यूवर्स एप्लीकेशन ओके so i welcome you all in the first session my friends whenever you launch your solidworks application you will get a preface like this this is the solidworks preface when you will which you will get when you launch your application this is the logo of this all system because solidworks application or solidworks software is owned by this all system a french aviation company and here you will get the version of solidworks i mean the release of solidworks which is installed in your pc i have installed solidworks 2020 so this one is showing solidworks 2020 if you will install the later or a rear version you will get the same year version here i mean 2022 or 2021 or like 2016 So now we'll see how to enter in SolidWorks working area for performing our model. For that, you will have to come here, choose file, and you will have to choose this new. Okay. Whenever you will enter new, you will get new SolidWorks document. Here you will get three icons. First one is part, assembly, and going. Step by step, we will see. what are the importance and how we can perform our works in all these three modules first we'll choose soil works part modeling okay then we'll go for assembly then we'll go for drafting so my friend whenever you want to create a component or products you will have to create individual parts of that component or that product for example if we want to make a hair dryer or mobile phone or and bike uh, a motorcycle or in uh, any aeroplane so there are thousands and hundreds of component in each and every product so each and every component or individual part will create in this part modeling the individually created parts in this part modeling will assemble here in this assembly section okay now if you want to provide some detailing to it if you want to provide some dimension if you want to show the details of your model your uh, all the features of your model how can you do that you will have to come in this drawing area in this drafting module and you will provide all the details to your model in this drafting module or drawing module where you will provide the dimension gd and the symbols you will provide bill of material bill of quantity you will also show the title bar and i mean the <coughs> title of your company each and every detail will show in this drawing so let's start with part modeling i have choose part modeling which i already been, uh, by default it is been selected so now i will click okay whenever you will launch your application and enter in solidworks working area i will get a preface like this this is your, your solidworks graphic region where what are the model you will create you will get all the features here okay my friend the first thing you have to do when you will enter in solidworks working area is to check the unit of your solidworks model here see here you can from here you can choose and change your units of your model here it has been already selected as mmgs which is millimeter gram and second 
here you can get centimeter gram second meter kilogram second and other option generally we use this unit so it has been already selected as default mmgs now if you want to edit your this setting simply will have to come here and edit documents here you will get mmgs here in document property units and you will get unit system so it has been showing here it's mmgs now here you will get the precision value i mean after your the main unit i mean the main value and up to uh, by up to which point like here see up to two points or up to three points up to five points you can change it from here okay here dual dimensional length is in inches basic length is in millimeter everything is defined here if you want to change it anything from here you can change it and simply click ok so first thing you will have to do is just check your units of your geometry or models now see here you are seeing lots of icons tabs on your screen so what are these things are let's check it one by one my friends these are the details of soil work preface see my friends see this one is soil works graphics area where you will perform your works i have already shown, shown this in system and here these things you can see here this one this is a status bar i mean whenever you will create your model you will get a message in this section okay whether your geometry is fully defined under defined or your model is constant or not this there will, uh, will be a message which will appear here i will discuss each and everything in this video so don't worry about that okay see this one is soil works menu where uh, you will find edit file insert tool windows lots of things let's see let's check it out see my friend here file in this section you will get new open recent see in new if you want to create any new geometry or new model simply will click new here now if i want to open any previously created part which has been already been created earlier so simply come here open and it will take you to the your folder if any folder like uh, my friend this one there is no sorry of part modeling uh, so if there is any soil works part file simply i can get it okay see like this i have created some model so it will show here if and what if i want to uh, like okay open here simply i will click here and it will be open see this thing is already been open here so in this way you can simply use open now open recent here what is the recent file which i have created in your service application will show here and you can simply access it from recent file similarly there are lots of other things here you can find edit view insert tools see this is the most important things insert where you will get lots of features of service module like sheet mod uh, sheet metal structure well made surface so what are the option which has been used in this module you will get all these things here okay now see my friend we will discuss each and everything in future in this complete series so for that we will have to wait for our next videos now my friend see this is search bar here you can get lots of options which you can search here for example let's see how you can do that do that for example if i want to search any option uh, uh, i want to use want to search loft so i will simply click loft see i can get loft loft cut loft loft bend so if you, if you want to search any option related to solve works you can simply click it from here now this is also uh, example for example if i want to use some solid works file in predefined solid works file and model simply i'll click solid works file and model okay 
now see if i want to uh, command i can get it from here but because my internet is not open so it will not dig uh, i cannot access that now my friend see here you will get some other option this one is task pane in this task pane you will get lots of predefined or previously created things uh, by solvers for example you will get lots of smart components like nut bolt washers uh, and other things in which is already been created by solvers see here i mean uh, design library here you will get design library see my friend for example assembly toolbox here toolbox adding row so you will get lots of all like bearing bolt and screw keys lots of all uh, predefined components which has been created by solvers will show here in our coming video we will see all these things so now discuss some other important things see this one is the most important uh most important things which you have to see this one is such was feature manager reentry property manager tab configuration tab but what the things which will create here all the property belongs to that model will show in feature manager design tree if you want to show for example i want to show it here for example i want to create any model so let's create it from here and see my friend if i want to provide some don't worry about this i will discuss each and everything in my video so for example i am illustrating this so see so in this area here this one is what i am talking about this this one is feature manager tree if feature means what are the feature which is being used in this model will show here for example i have used part as box extrude so it is showing box extrude here it is showing the sketch okay so this is your solid works feature now see other option here this is so uh, property manager configuration manager dim expert display manager we will see each and everything so let's start with our first sketch of solid works so congratulations to all you are going to learn first sketch or first model belongs to solid works okay for creation of any model you have to learn three things first thing how to use your mouse button okay so let's uh, let's see how we can perform our work with the help of mouse okay my friend if i want to create any model i have to choose a plane so simply will have to choose your mouse sub so simply choose any plane from your mb1 mouse button i mean selection key of your mouse button which is left key and you will get this panel on your screen this tab where you can find a sketch so so we as uh, we can choose this sketch to create a model now my friend see if i want to choose any geometry simply choose it by your cursor of your mouse okay see this is already been created now if you want to zoom in and zoom out this model how you can do that with the help of your mouse simply use middle button of your mouse okay or your rolling simply roll it up and down and you can get your model zoom in and zoom out see in this way okay so with the help of your middle mouse button you can scroll it and it will zoom in and zoom out now my friend if you want to drag this pen this model on your screen for example i want this model uh, here okay rotate it see how you can rotate it simply press your middle mouse button press it and hold it 
and drag it here and there you can simply rotate your model okay now see how we can make it default for example it was created on front plane now this has been disturbed this is not my the default view of my sketch so the second thing which you have to learn is how to make your sketch default for that you will have to come here see my friend this is my front view top view side view isometric view for example i want to make it isometric so i'll click on isometric see this one is my isometric view but i want it to make it normal view so for that i have to click here normal and uh, not here you will get these things in here 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 this one is normal view okay and here it will get back but this was not my default view my default view was my front view because it was created on front plane this is my front view and this is my default view so simply you will have to come in here view panel tabs and choose any of the views which is your default view now my friend how you can end your task for example i have created a circle here now i want to end my task so see here my mouse cursor is showing a circle selected already which has been uh, selected so i want to end this task so how we can do this simply you will have to press esc or escape button from your keyboard whenever you press escape button it will end your task okay so you will have to press escape esc then you can end your task and you can switch to the next task okay so the three things you you have to keep in mind the use of your mouse button second how to choose the default view or orientation of your uh, geometry you will have to come here and get your required view from these tabs now my friend how we can provide dimension to our geometry and how we can give constraint to our geometry we will discuss first discuss what is constraint and what are the function and importance of constraints in any modeling or in any software cad software my friends basically constraints are used to restrict the degree of freedom or motion of any geometry also with the help of constraint we can modify our model very easily and we can access our model in future very easily for example see my friend this uh, i i want to delete this model now see let's focus on this circle only this is a circle but we don't know the dimension of this circle i can drag it and i can increase or decrease the dimension of this diameter of this circle by any value but we don't know the value of this circle if i want to make it 100 mm circle for that i have to provide dimension to it so simply click a smart dimension here and provide dimension to it okay for example i want to make it 100 mm so simply i provide 100 mm and hit enter button from my keyboard or press okay then i will get this 100 mm okay so let's delete it and show some other example how we will choose the plane see, see this is top plane right plane front plane i want to show all the plane so simply come here so plane here come here so plane here come here and so from your mouse see these all are the three plane front plane top plane and right plane for example if you want to work on right plane or in top plane so simply click here and then click here or come here and simply choose a sketch 
when you will choose here and choose sketch it will default by default come parallel to your screen of your pc so this is the default view whenever you will hit a uh, sketch here see i will click sketch so in simple way i will get this front plane parallel to my screen now my friend if i want to hide other planes which is not required for my model for example right plane and top plane i will come here choose hide come here choose hide i can see only my front plane so we have already see how we can provide dimension to our geometry let's see it again for example i have created a line here now i want to provide some dimension to it so simply come with smart dimension choose the smart dimension and provide some dimension for example i want to provide 100 mm so i choose 100 mm press enter from my keyboard so this is 100 mm line for example i want to create a rectangle so simply i'll create a rectangle here and come here to smart dimension provide some dimension to it okay and provide some dimension to it in this way we can provide dimension to our geometry okay if you want to delete it simply drag a uh, click your left button of your mouse you will get a uh, selection lasso selection simply click here and delete it from your keyboard now my friend we will see how to provide constraint to our geometry as already discussed constraints is very important things for any geometry creation so you will, you will have to focus in this session how to provide constraints to our geometry for example my friend if we want to create a line here but see my friend this line is inclined at some angle if you want to make it horizontal or vertical how we can make it with the help of constraint definitely we are going to see how to make it horizontal or vertical whenever you will click on this line you will get a relation a relation here i mean all the possible constraint which can apply on this line will show here for example horizontal vertical and six i want to make it horizontal my friends so that i will choose horizontal here see my friends this line is being created in horizontal way now see here i can see a symbol which is showing horizontal line okay my friends whenever you will create a horizontal line you will get a symbol like this this is showing horizontal symbol now i want to create a line here and i want to make it vertical so for that choose line whenever you choose line you will get a tab on your graphics area of your solid works so here you can also make it vertical horizontal the option which you are getting here you can find it on your screen i mean graphics screen whenever you click on the line and then you will get a tab here in which you will see, see make horizontal vertical lots of option but i want to make it vertical so i will click make vertical here my line is being created in vertical now i want to create a rectangle here okay my friends but i want this corner to be coincident with this origin point so for that how we can do that we will use some geometrical constraints we have already see horizontal constraint and vertical constraint this is the type of geometrical constraint let's see how we can make this corner point and this origin coincident simply click here press control of your keyboard when you are going, going to choose two entities remember these things whenever you want to create constraints between two points or two entities you will have to press control 
button from your keyboard okay so press control press control and choose these two entities to be met now i can get all the possible constraints which is applicable between these two entities will so here so i want to make it coincident so simply click coincident my friends see my rectangle is being enlarged it means that the dimension has been changed but i want to make it 100 to 200 mm i mean 100 mm the width and 200 mm is the length so simply come here choose the smart dimension provide 200 mm and simply provide 100 mm to the length see my friend this is 200 mm and 100 mm length got it now if you want to delete it simply click your first button of your mouse press your first button of your mouse drag it enlarge it select the all the selection and hint uh, simply press delete from your keyboard okay now my friend we will see also all the other constraint option for example first you would like to create center line so you see in this drop down you will get center line to center line see click center line again here click center line whenever you want to end your task simply hit escape button from your keyboard in this way just for example i have created a circle here i want to end the task simply escape press escape then i can end my task escape button from your keyboard okay so remember that now friends we are talking about how to use other geometrical constraint see for example i have created a circle here okay and another circle here okay now i want to make the center of the circle and the end point of this construction line to be coincident so simply by pressing control of my keyboard i choose this center this end point of this one here i can get merge merge is same as coincident okay so here i can make it merge now my friends i want to make this circle and this circle on the same line okay so how we can do that simply click the center point of the circle center point of this circle by pressing control from keyboard and simply we will get horizontal vertical merge fix i want to make it in same vertical line so i will choose vertical my friends see these two circles are aligned on the same center line which means that if you want to drag the circle anywhere i can't because this is being created on this center line okay and these two circles are vertical so it will not move on the horizontal direction it can move only in vertical direction only see now if you want to provide some dimension see i have provided some dimension from here to here whatever it is let's it let it be okay okay no issue provide some dimension to it for example i want to provide some dimension to circle simply click here what the dimension it is just let it be see my friend now i am getting a message here here i am getting fully defined let's see now here if i have not provided any dimension i am getting a message here under defined it means that my geometry is not constrained for example i want to see change the dimension I, if i want to change the dimension i can change it and the dimension of this circle is not fixed okay so if you want to make your geometry fully defined you will have to provide proper constraint and proper dimension to your geometry okay 
for example if i will provide a dimension to it i will provide it from here another dimension choose here okay now for example from um, this one say my geometry is fully different so these are the way in which we can provide constraints to our geometry so this is the first session i hope you all are enjoying it let's move ahead and see some other example whenever you want to end, uh, exit from your sketch you will have to come here and exit it here or exit from here see when i was in sketching the color of my sketch was in blue color now i have already in exit mode i have ex exited from my sketch now i am here in features it means that part the sketch has been created here we will provide some material and will provide some operation in it to uh, give a proper shape to our model so whenever you will exit from your sketch the color of your sketch will turns into gray color see my friend for time being i am hiding this plane see this is in gray color now if you want to edit this sketch for example i want to make it uh, i want to change the dimension of it how you can do that simply come here and sketch and whenever you click your mouse button either right or left button of your mouse you can find see whenever i click my right button of my mouse i will get lots of option here see this first tab and another tab feature of this sketch but whenever i choose mb1 or left button of my mouse my mouse i will get only these things so it's up to you by which means you want to go to edit to your sketch simply come here and here you can edit a sketch so it's will like now see you will see the color of a sketch is black here now you are into your sketching modeling a sketching efface but whenever you will exit from here you will in 3d mode i mean here i will provide 3d uh, operation like features here like shape extrude boundary you will add material you will do remove material you will give some basic face basic basic shape to your model okay we will see later for example for time being we are practicing only on sketch modeling so we will see sketch modeling only now if you want to cre uh, create any model on top plane so you will have to come here top plane choose sketch now i have already choose here so here i have found a, a sketch four which means that i have added in a, another sketch but my friend here i am seeing nothing so for that you have to come here and you will have to create normal view now my friend i can see my top plane because i have select i have, i have selected top plane for my sketching okay if i want to show my sketch my uh, plane i can show it from here i have already shown you so my friend in this top plane if i want to make circle here and here and now i want to make this two circle to be equal like this one i have provided 100 mm let's make it 100 okay now i want to make this circle to be equal to each other so simply press control select this circle and this circle and you will get equal here so make it equal these two circle are equal for example i want to create another circle here and i want to provide some other dimension to it for example i want to provide it 200 mm now i want this two circle to be concentric with each other i mean the center should be overlap or coincident with each other so simply click this circle this circle and you'll find lots of possible constraint which is being apply can be apply here for example i want to make it concentric see my friend these two circle are being concentric with each other 
so these are the some of the example of constraints now C but here you will get underdefined it means that our model is not fully defined so if you want to make it simple click uh, construction line here now I want to hide this top plane so simply hide it now I want to hide this sketch so come here and hide it okay you will hide it now my friends see I want this center to be on uh, coincident on this line so I will choose coincident uh, the center of the circle this line and you will get some possible options which is which can be applied between these two line and center so make it coincident now I want to make some dimension uh, provide some dimension to it from this center to the origin so come here and simply click provide some dimension for example I want to make it 500 so I provide a 500 control hit now my friend I want this circle to be aligned with this line this uh, center of this circle for that uh, I will create a center line here okay this one is vertical center line now I want this center uh, this circle on this line so I will click on the center of the circle I will choose this line I will click coincident same friend this is already been created on the center of this line now here I can provide some dimension to it let me make it any value now I can get a fully defined message on my status bar so in this way we can provide constraints and dimension to it so I hope you all will like this video in our next session we will see lots of example uh, we will see the practical examples how we can create our model with help of dimension and constraints okay I hope you will all uh, you all will like this video please comment share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much